Canadian Real Estate versus Literal European Castles, Part 4. And I really hate today's Canadian listing, so strap in, people! This is 124 Baldwin Street in Toronto, Ontario. It's a six-bedroom, eight-bathroom house that costs $3 million, which I'm telling you right now, because that's not even the big reveal this time. So let's take a look inside. We got a kitchen. We got a living room. We got another kitchen. We got a kitchen next to a TV. And you can see that it's also next to a couch and a bedroom. Uh, there's a fridge there. This is a kitchen. And then we got a fireplace next to a bed. What else we got? Uh, oh, they must have cleared it out. There's another kitchen, of course. Uh, this is just some living space, a balcony. This is a kitchen. Uh, this is another kitchen, another balcony. So this is a house that's been subdivided into eight different apartments, and it's described as having long-standing tenants and huge upside potential. They also say it's ideal for an owner-operator with long-term vision. Now, for those of you who live in Ontario, you probably already see what's going on here, but for the rest, I'm gonna explain. And I'll start with some boring financial stuff, but don't worry, it gets worse. So based on the numbers they give, they're currently operating on a 75% profit margin, which is pretty good, but they're asking for $3 million for the house, which would be a 4.2% capitalization rate or a 3.2% return on investment, which is very bad. Normally for a property like this, you'd want a cap rate of about 10%, so they're gonna have to double their income to make it worth the $3 million. Ontario has rent control, but the rent control is on the tenancy, not the actual apartment. So if a tenant stays, you can only raise the rent by a certain amount each year. But if they leave, you can raise the rent as much as you want. In Toronto, this has led to a trend of rent evictions, where they say they're going to renovate a unit, evict the current tenant, and then re-rent the unit at a much higher price. A new owner could also claim that they or a family member wants to move in and use the unit and evict the current tenants. So when they say there's huge upside potential for someone with a long-term vision, what they mean is you could take all these long-time tenants who have always paid their rent on time, kick them out, and then double the rent on all the apartments and make a lot more money. Now, I actually do think that there's a legitimate place for landlords and rental housing in the market, but this is disgusting. So congratulations, worst so far. And now that everyone's angry, let's go look at a castle. This is a nicely restored castle in France for only 1.95 million euro. It's 9,000 square feet and you don't have to make anyone homeless to live in it. There's also a living room, dining room, library, swimming pool, and a garden planted with a number of rare and interesting species. So what's your pick? Don't, don't be a jerk. Just, I'm not even going to let you have a top one this time. Just take the castle. Take the castle. Don't be a jerk. Take the castle.